It's 8.02 p.m. and 85 degrees at Caesars Palace, and it's time to throw your kid's college fund on the table until it's not there anymore. Sound like fun? If gambling your life savings away on a heavily weighted game of chance is your idea of a good time, then why not do it risk-free on your sofa? This is a collection of gambling mini-games set in the most famous casino in the world, but here you don't get the pleasure of the fountain show, the higher-than-high-end shopping, the suspiciously foaming cocktails, or the hooker-touting street harassers. Oh god, I love Vegas. Anyway, you arrive in a taxi at the casino entrance, a thousand finest video game dollars in your wallet. There are five different games you can explore. You simply move the cursor about the room, clicking on whichever one you want. There can be several slots or tables in an area, and they have varying betting limits. Play safe, or just gamble the whole lot instantly. Your kitty is doled out to you in one, five, ten, twenty-five, and a hundred dollar chips. But you can swap them about easily if you'd just like to whack a few hundreds down quickly. These slot machines are probably the first thing you'll see. Magnificent Sevens lets you place up to three bets per spin, and the aim is to line up bar or seven horizontally across the screen. Diagonals don't count. There's Video Poker, which works exactly how it should. You can bet the stake of each machine up to five times per hand, and you get one opportunity to discard cards. This is the one I gravitate to, as there is at least an element of manipulability in that you can balance risk and reward, whether to play the probabilities or go for bigger risks. Similarly, you can play blackjack, which has its own skill to it, rather than just blind luck. There's roulette and a big wheel, which you can bet on in small or larger increments. Remember, there's no real risk, so do what you always wanted to and put a thousand dollars on red or something. You can go to the toilet, in-game. You can't sneak out the bathroom window to avoid your debts, though, so I don't see the point in it. I guess it's got as much purpose as the game itself. The idea is to make as much imaginary money as you can, obviously. However much you make will determine the mode of your exit. A modest profit will afford you a taxi, while hitting big bucks sees you styling and profiling back to the swankiest hotel suite in the back of a limo. Lose all your money, and Susie will summon you back to the cashier to tell you that the doorman will arrange your return transportation, after which you'll be summarily bundled into a crummy-looking coach and run out of town. It's missing something, though. The game's too innocent to be set in Las Vegas. This is a place where you can be walking down the street, hand in hand with your significant other, in broad daylight, and some guy in a fluorescent t-shirt with a fanny pack will be trying to shove a prostitute's business card into your hand. Remember, it's only a sin if you consider it one, and Vegas certainly doesn't. Thanks so much for watching this video. Let me know your thoughts on the game down below, and if you can spare a second, give the review a quick thumbs up, it really helps out. Subscribe to the Portable Power Podcast for a new Game Boy review every day from Monday to Friday. Or, alternately, new episodes of the podcast drop every Saturday and Sunday on whichever platform you get your pods. See you later on.